Jack Perry, with a beard, made his entrance for the main event promo segment. Tony Schiavone was in the ring. The fans chanted, Oh, cry me a river for Perry. Jack said that he had some of the best nights of his entire life right here in Jacksonville. Jack said tonight they had business to handle and he wants to handle it face to face right now with Tony Khan. The AEW owner and CEO Tony Khan walked out to the ring and got in the ring with Jack. Tony is a short man who is about the same height as Jack. Jack claimed that in the last five years, AEW has gone on to change the world. Jack admitted they have had ups and downs, but he swears to God that all he's ever wanted is what's best for AEW. Tony applauded that. Jack asked Tony to shake his hand, reinstate Jack, and let's go on to continue to change the world together. Tony shook Jack's hand and they hugged. The announcer sucked up to Tony big time while Jack had a smile on his face during the hug. Tony was smiling like a dumbass during the whole thing. Jack Perry punched Tony in the ribs with the microphone. The elite's young bucks and Kazuchika Okada went down to the ring to try to calm Jack down. The young bucks picked up Tony teasing the EDP trigger, but then Okada pointed up. Matt Jackson held Tony in a tombstone position and Nick jumped off the top for the Meltzer driver spiked pile driver on Tony Khan. Referee Bryce Remsburg and other referees checked on Tony. Matt thanked Jacksonville and said they loved them. Some fans were chanting whoop the trick during this. The elite posed on the stage as the fans booed them. The camera focused on a fallen Tony Khan in the ring. The locker room emptied out with wrestlers checking on the boss. Where were all these people when he was beaten up? Even Tony's billionaire dad Shad Khan, who gifted AEW to his son, arrived to check on Tony at the end. That's how Dynamite ended.